you still looking for some fun gifts this holiday season that can also help the kids learning about money? If so, our money man, Bob Ingram from Ameriprise Financial, is here with some holiday gift ideas for kids big and small. All right, thanks so much for being here as Thank usual. Thank you. All right, so of course, when kids are making their Christmas lists, they're probably not thinking about how they can learn about money, but you, you have some ideas so? for us? <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, with little, especially with the little kids, you have, yeah. uh, you know, anytime you can get thinking about counting or making decisions, you know, little, just little simple things like that are really the building blocks, the foundations for later on where you actually make financial decisions and have to prioritize and have goals and all those wonderful things we think about. Um, and, and there's some great things out there just to even start doing that. And a simple thing, classic, the piggy bank. Yeah. Um, a great uh, company called um, Money Savvy Generation, uh, and they have a great website, has a piggy bank that's sort of a little twist on it. It's clear and it has different sections and so that it's kids can go through and actually prioritize where certain uh, monies can go, whether it be for, you know, saving up for that great gift, uh, it could be for general savings, even for family, you know, giving, charity, things of that sort. And they get a chance to do that. And as they get older, there's also other themes, you know, kids that are into sports, they have ones that are shaped like footballs and soccer balls and mm -hmm. things of that, that nature. Um, games, again, board games. Kids are, you know, of course, are getting more into apps and all that, but just classic family games are still, you know, one of the best ways to introduce. And besides the classics, of course, you know, like Monopoly, Monopoly Junior, Monopoly, and Payday. Um, there's some other things out there, sort of a twist on that, a farming game where it's like a monopoly concept but the kids go through and they've got to have a farming business and you go and you make decisions and you have to be the the last business standing essentially uh, that's that's out there and another one is the allowance game mm -hmm. another a game about going through having to make choices of working and earning certain monies and then have to make decisions of how you're going to spend those monies a great way to sort of introduce the concept and in uh, a fun way to do it too all right so what about when the kids get a little or older maybe and their wish list grows even longer what what can they do well again games are, are a great uh, thing for even uh, older kids and a little more advanced one actually called Awesome Island developed by some educators mm. that are trying to get financial education in schools uh, came up with this it's a little bit on the expensive side it's you know 70 to, to 80 dollars uh, but it's a sort of a role-playing game it's a really advanced version of some of those things like the game of life and like I said payday where you actually go through and have all sorts of different financial decisions and responding to certain questions that you have to face and it gives kids a great chance and students in particular a chance uh, to do that you you know, other ones, just games about business and about, you know, stock market investing. Acquire, you know, a fun game kind of a, like, you know, uh, businesses where you actually go and you buy businesses that are going to merge. Um, and then, uh, you know, other ones as well, like a new one called Day Trader. It used to be an old classic game called Stocks and Bonds, and this Day Trader really allows kids to figure out what you do to buy low and sell high. And it just learns about, sorry, learns about the concept of investing there. And then also another great thing, if, if you're getting, you know, kids involved in stocks, you can actually have shares of stock. Mm -hmm. You can buy shares of stock. A company called OneShare.com allows you to go through and find a lot of companies that kids might know. You know, really getting into knowing the businesses of maybe the games or products that they see and buy every day. A great Stuff way that to get they're into interested it. in. That's absolutely right. All right, so. Bob. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you back here Thank next you. week, and we will be right back.